NWA World Tag Team Title Match. Paul Jones and his champions against the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom. A little showtime for Ravishing Rick Rude. He does have a fantastic body, JJ. He sure does. <laughs> he doesn't intimidate Hawk at all. Didn't impress him one single bit, I don't think. You're talking about loaded with muscle. Hawk of the Road Warriors. Now the Raging Bull getting into the act. As he tries to jump in. I don't think the Raging Bull is ready to get into a uh, flexing contest with either Ravishing Rick Rude or Hawker Animal, the Road Warriors. I would agree with that. But he is a world tag team champion, a great wrestler, and uh, has a stocky build of his own. Rick Rude trying to pull Hawk out of the corner, could not. Hawk would not come out of that corner. Of course, in the world of professional wrestling, all those muscles uh, really don't win titles and don't uh, win pinfalls. And you can see by Manny Fernandez, uh, very large legs. He's got a lot of uh, upper body strength in his arms and chest and a lot of lower body strength in those big legs. Into a neutral corner, Rick Rude with a series of knees right to the midsection and a forearm. Working a hawk, but still cannot pull him across to another neutral corner. Picks the brakes on again. And now showing Rick Rude how to do it. Oh, he's standing all the way through that thing. Hit very hard. Rick Rude trying to get back up. Hit very hard across. And now Hawk, J.J., wants to test the strength. I don't know if Rude's ready for it yet or not. He hit very hard. That jarred him, and uh, again, ravishing Rick Rude is trimmed down. There's not an ounce of uh, excess weight on him, and every time he's either slammed to the canvas or catapulted into the corners we just saw, those pads in the uh, turnbuckles really don't... Uh, don't offer much protection because those are heavy steel cables uh, underneath that act as a rope and there's very very little give to them you take a man uh, 260 270 pounds catapulted in there it's going to knock the wind out of you now they locked up for the test of strength and hawk and rick rude pulling on each other match for the world tag team title rude goes down about me oh and he stops on both his hands and now the bull is in. He gets nailed. Here's Animal right on the kisser. And a right hand. The bull tumbles out. Paul Jones better get his champions together and regroup as the Road Warriors have really uh, divided and are attempting to conquer. Gracious Paul Ellering, you saw moments ago talking to his troops and Paul Jones consoling his two men. It's taken a little bit of a beating here at the beginning of this match. Well, I'm not out there on the floor, and uh, neither are you, Tony, but uh, I've heard that similar conversation many times uh, when I've been out there firsthand. It can be very frustrating. Paul Jones. Challenge to an arm wrestling match against Rick Rude for Paul Jones. Looks like Hawk's going to take it up. Claiming that Rick Rude is a national arm wrestling champion. We've got a self-imposed intermission here now. We're going to find out in a test of strength just who the more powerful of the two is. Here it goes. Hawk and Rick Rude. And Hawk almost has him down. Appear. Rude, I think, grabbed the ropes that time. And he's close to getting Hawk down. Tommy Young checking in. Kind of an impromptu $5,000 challenge right here. Arm wrestling contest. Again, he pulls the ropes and gets the advantage. Animal walks over, and Tommy Young warns him back. Keep going. Keep 
Looks like Rude is getting up high, trying to get that added leverage. And Hawk's staying low. He's trying a different route. But he's locked in, and he's got his weight stable. Oh, Hawk wins it! Road Warrior Hawk wins that arm wrestling contest. And the Raging Bull claiming that Animal kicked his man. Paul Jones and the, the ravishing one have just lost five grand. Paul Jones attempted to turn the momentum of this match around to, uh, to his benefit, but apparently the move has backfired, Tony. And now the bull in, or is that still Rick Rude in? Against Road Warrior Animal now. That's right, Ravishing Rick Rude back in. And we'll see what Rick Rude does against Animal when we come back. And we return, they lock up. Rick Rude against Animal and Ravishing won. Less $5,000 from the arm wrestling. Takes the big man off his feet. Real calculated risk there. Uh, obviously, Rick Reed expelled uh, a lot of energy there in that impromptu arm wrestling contest. And with uh, Animal coming in as the fresh man, I'm not so sure it was wise to keep him in there. But I think he was a little bit embarrassed, and maybe that momentum uh, might help him emotionally uh, excel and turn this match around. We'll find out. Rick Rude slowly walks in a circle now. Still walking. Animal checks with his partner. He's pretty amused about what happened. Oh, good takedown, JJ. Very good drop toe hold maneuver. Now the problem is, how do you keep him? Pulling down the leg, and we're going to see some power from Animal. Look at those strong legs. He's got Rude down. How's he pinned? Oh, had a two count with that move. Have you ever seen a man get pinned with the other man's legs like that? He's using how to get rid of some of the push-up block. Now both men in. Both the bull and Rick Root and the leg push off. Oh, the raging bull right over the top rope. He was not the legal man, so I was assume there'd be no disqualification there. The fans love it. The raging bull thinks better of going back to the ring. If there was one flaw in uh, the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, it would be his his temper, his intensity. He really, really flies off the handle. And any time that you do that, you're always susceptible to making a mistake that cost you a match. So Paul Jones is constantly keeping an eye on Manny Fernandez, trying to keep his temper down, trying to keep him under control, and yet to not diminish that intensity. The word Raging Bull. The rage in the bull. And, of course, that's what it means. Try to intimidate, I think, Animal that time with a show of martial arts skill, but it didn't do anything to face the big man. To the opposite rope. Oh, the bull stopped in time, and lucky for the bull. In the corner. Now, what he's talking to Tommy Young, the bull is. There's no warning for a clothesline maneuver. That's perfectly legal. Now they lock up again. Okay, this time. Back to the rope once again. Opposite side. That time, knocked him right off his feet. And the ball is hot. I think the ball just issued a challenge of his own. Uh-oh. Don't tell me they're going to square off like an offensive defensive line. Oh, see you later, Razor Ball. He flattened me. And the ball is a former football player. Well, that's no great disgrace because the animal has knocked many, many a good man down. He absolutely flattened the ball. I mean flattened. Paul Jones now better be giving some very serious thought to his World Tag Team Championship belts. Boy, good thing he wasn't trying to protect the quarterback right there. Think it would have been a sack? <laughs> I think so. The Bull is calling timeout. They can't take one, but we can. We will be here in just a second as the Bull climbs right back into the ring. 
More action on Super Bats right after this. One of the world's most demanding test tracks and the 1980s. On the top, getting ready for Ravishing Rick Rude to appear, and he does. And there's a gigantic close line. Paul Jones up, Animal is up, and now the ball. Came off that time. And still, Rick Rude only gets a two count. I thought they'd pulled it off there for a second, Tony. I think everyone thought they may have pulled it off, but no. Still the pressure on the arm of Hawk, the tag, and the region ball back in. That was about a 40-yard field goal right there. A headbutt. And another one right on the arm. And Hawk in a lot of trouble. Takedown. He's going to pull on that arm for a minute. And now the knee drops right on the arm. This has been a fight. What has that, Tony? Not much of a wrestling match, but what a fight. The ball, still with the arm. Tommy Young checking in. Both men up now. This is where Hawk is dangerous. He should try to take him off his feet again. He does. Good move by the bull. You get Hawk up standing at you. Eyeball to eyeball. You're in trouble. Think he got a little help taking him down, or do you think it was the leverage from the fingers? I couldn't really tell. I couldn't tell either. I'm sure if we asked Paul Jones, he would assure us that the Raging Bull would never result in grabbing a handful of tights. Absolutely. And now to Rick Rude as the referee is checking with Animal. Vicious stomps on that arm. Regardless how big you are and how bad you are, we know the Road Warriors are both. You keep putting pressure on one part of your body, you're going to wear the man down from your left. And uh, for the first time, we're seeing a little bit of concern on the face of uh, precious Paul Ellering over in the Road Warriors corner. Rick Rude still hooking that left arm, turning, twisting every chance he gets. Hawk, oh, he came right out of the rope with a standing clothesline that time. And he cleaned out with it. Paul Jones gets the attention. And they go right back to work on that left arm. 15 minutes has elapsed in the time limit. For Fernandez is being bounced around like a ping pong ball. Once and now twice into the ropes. High back body drop. Real high back body drop, and now the bull in big trouble. Well, that'll stop you dead in your tracks. This could be it right here. No, ravishing Rick Rude in to break the count. Now we've got all four men in the ring coming. All four in the ring. The bull gets up near the turnbuckle. Animal catches him. Big power slam. He's got him covered. Where's the referee, Tony? The referee is trying to move the other man out of the ring, and this could be it if he would turn around. Both managers are up. Paul, Paul Jones. Jones just couldn't stand it any longer. If that referee would have turned around, kissed the world medals goodbye. So he thought he was going to take matters into his own hand. Tony, this match is over, but uh, the World Tag Team Champions want the Road Warriors to know that they've been in a fight. There's Paul Jones. And he's on his bicycle. And Paul Ellery chasing him around the ring. Rick Rude of the Raging Bull will retain the World Tag Team titles and lose by the qualification. Chance might have been lucky to escape with this one, Tony. I don't know, but it was a great match. 